Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader. It's uh, Monday night, and uh, these are the charts of the day. Tonight, I'm going to talk about some longs, and tomorrow night, I'll cover those shorts. Right now, it's a very tentative market, but uh, there's certainly a lot of stocks that moved up today. And among the majority of the stocks we followed that had really good days today, Junior Oils. With the price of oil at two and a half year highs today, reaching over 92 a barrel. ALJ, Alon USA Energy, which you can see here at based. Coiled, broke out, and then formed a big wedge. Today exploded for 67 cents or 9.3% on 600,000 shares. Big volume for that stock. How does overhead resistance up around the A level? I expect that should be tested tomorrow. And if we can get through that, look for a swing trade up towards the $10 range. Asia, ASIA, big day today up 305 or 16.57%. Uh, 3.3 million shares. Biggest volume in three months. Coming through the declining top line or, or, or the top of the declining channel, um, right now it appears that the stock could be headed up towards a test of this level up here um, in the next few days, around 24.5 zone. And uh, beyond that, um, secondary target up around 28.30. <clears throat> BEXP, another new all-time high, crossing 30 for the first time ever. Backed off to 29.63, still up a dollar, three and a half percent, 3.7 million, strong volume. Looking for a move to the top of the channel around 34. That continues to be our swing trade target. BPZ, another junior oil today. Yesterday popped, today it followed through nicely, up 53 cents or 10 percent on seven and a half million shares, topping Friday's volume for the heaviest volume in years. The stock is traded. At this point, it appears a fade to complete that we're going to get a run up towards the. Uh, six six and a quarter zone, and we'll see what happens there. But secondary target would be up around seven and three quarters um, for a secondary target. CLDA continues to motor um, after the big gap up and a couple of days of movement. The stock backed off for a day and then has come on again for the last three sessions, today up 236 or 8.6 percent. Uh, volume is the heaviest in four sessions. Looks to me like the stock, well, we've already reached my trading target, which is clear near 30. 29.72 high uh, was the high and high last today, closing right at the high for the day going away. Looks like more upside movement, perhaps to the low 30s, could be had. CWST, after breaking out here, a big volume, is flagging for the last five sessions. We have a, a bull flag on the way that could lead us to the nine and three quarter range. That's our short term trading target. FTO, another junior oil, Frontier Oil, has been really moving nicely this year particularly in the last, um, I say this year, the last six months, having moved up from the low teens to the uh, near 21 today with a 23, 23 and a half target short term. Gulfport Energy, another independent oil and gas company. After a nice run from the August lows around the uh, 10 and a half range, it ran up to uh, 23, backed off, coiled, and today popped to, uh, 263 or 12.3% on 900,000 shares. That's the biggest volume in more than a month, about five weeks. But more importantly, broke out of this consolidation range and maybe headed for higher levels. Uh, we have I have a trading target up here now around the 27 range. Grand Tierra Energy, another strong oil and gas today, broke out across key lateral resistance, which has held this thing back for the last several years, take, and just slightly taken out the 08 high. We'll see if there's a follow through to the upside, but looking for a move eventually through the well, the short term target at 10, secondary target at 12 and a half. Chinary Energy, LNG, another strong stock today, up uh, 96 cents or 15% on 4.7 million. And br after having broken out of the, you can see this big base pattern, stock broke out, pulled back and tested breakout point, moved up to secondary resistance and backed off to form a flag here. That flag was broken today. We can get through the top of the uh, lateral price resistance around 7.5, 760. That should be tested tomorrow, ideally. I'm looking for a move to $10. NPSP, spectacular session, opened at 9.38, closed at uh, 10.01, up 2.40 or 9.5 million shares, by far the heaviest volume. This stock has traded in many, many years and um, breaking through the 08 highs and taking out the four or five year base pattern today. So additionally, uh, additional upside movement may be had. I'm looking for a secondary target up around 15, believe it or not. And this stock may, <clears throat> may start to really trend here. 
much like CLD, CLDA has been doing over the last four or five sessions, short-term trading target 11 and three quarters, 12 and a half zone up here. OAS, another junior oil, OASIS Petroleum, up $1.77 or 5.86% of 1.5 million shares, the heaviest volume in two months. And top of the channel um, is beckoning, it appears, uh, up around 35, short-term trading target. OCCF, optical cable, after the big gap last week, has continued to move up almost every day, up another 43 cents or 7.5% today. Low volume, it's a thin stock, but it looks like we can get to my trading target around 7 a quarter. Short term. OPLK, nice follow through session to Friday's big gap and, and breakaway. Up another dollar and one cent to, on more than a million shares. Um, beautiful breakout. A long term chart pattern. 11, uh, excuse me, 10 year base pattern here. That level of resistance was taken out, and this big base can support a big move. So watch for good things from Oplink over the course of the next few weeks, potentially. Love to buy this on a pullback near the gap around 23. SODA soda finally broke out of this little wedge we were talking about and popped today for 321 or 8% on uh, 1.33 million. Strong technicals moving. And if we can get up across the 43.98 area, I think the stock could spike up to the high 40s, maybe even 50. That's my short term target. SSN, uh, big day for that junior oil. Samson Oil and Gas popped 54 cents for 25% on um, eight, more than 8 million shares. Big volume for that stock. At this point, it looks like a a run to that 325 area is probably um, in store, and that did test the top of the channel. And then um, we'll look for something higher than that down the road. And lastly, today is URG, a uranium stock, UR Energy, which came out of the coil today and popped for 21 cents or 7%, uh, 4 and a half million shares, the biggest volume in about two months. So uh, at this point, I'd be looking for higher levels on the stock, perhaps around four and a quarter and a half, a short term trading target. And those are the long ideas for tonight. There's plenty of ideas on the, long, on the short side, but we'll get to that tomorrow night. Have a good evening.